like, Israel is about to right at this moment Gaza. They're they're talking about a, a ground invasion of Gaza and they're preparing for it. That's this so is, gnarly. This is terrifying. Yeah. It's it's so terrifying because it's we're so close to World War Three. We're so close. It's no joke, man. It's, it's really that really feels like that's what's happening. <clears throat> It is happening. Yeah. It scares the fucking shit out of me. Yeah, it does and, me too. And someone from the government was just having some sort of a, a press conference where they're saying, w you know, we are at war and war is messy. And this is, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Shouldn't we be doing everything we can to avoid this? Every single possible thing that we can to avoid this. And it doesn't seem like they look ahead. They just go, here's what we got to do. Right. Here's what we have to do. Like, I, I get it. I get it's like what, what, what happened on October 7th, was it? Yeah. It's horrible. Absolute atrocity and like barbaric and absolutely terrible. And I, I get it. You, ha you have to retaliate and you have to do what you got to do. But how do you do that? Like, like, of course you want to get rid of Hamas. That sounds great. You know what I mean? I completely support that. I think everybody supports that for the most part. But how do you do that without so much collateral damage it's ridiculous and then even more important than that is fast forward five years from now right. what happens like what are the repercussions yeah especially around that whole area with all those arab countries yeah and we're backing that we're backing them killing all these people there and we're also backing ukraine against russia and now it's looked like we're going to back taiwan we just sent an, an aid, an aid, an aid package to Taiwan, billions of dollars to Taiwan. It's like we're opposing all these, like you know what I mean? Yeah. We're opposing China, Russia, and now these Arab countries. Yeah, it's scary, man. I'm not the person to talk politics, but that I mean, or you know, you know, uh, international military strategy. But I just watching the news and trying not to, and just try. And I, it's funny because I, I. Uh, I mean, I've always known about Israel and Palestine just from what I hear on the news and like just sort of hearing like kind of understanding on the most surface level. And it wasn't until now, age 51, where I was actually, I've been watching, like listening to podcasts, watching documentaries, trying to like educate myself and like figure out what this conflict, how it came to be, what the history was. And it's the more I l try to learn about it, the more complicated it seems. Yeah, it's terrifying. Yeah. It's terrifying and the consequences for all of us are so grave because if it does go completely sideways, if someone goes nuclear, we're fucked. We're fucked. The world's fucked. I mean, we're getting knocked back into the Stone Age if we're lucky. If we're lucky. If we're not lucky, the whole human race gets wiped out. And all it takes is one person to go rogue. Yeah. And like you saw the, like for, for Hamas to do what they did in Israel, that they, that was totally strategic. They didn't do it. They didn't like do do all that barbaric shit in that way, like just to prove a point. It was super, like they wanted a crazy emotional response. They yeah. were trying to escalate the situation. Obviously, right? Like yeah. you would never do that without you know, going. What is this going to do? It's yeah. obviously they're going to full on airstrikes. You know, ground invasion. It's pretty obvious that that's going to happen. Yeah. So they basically wanted that to happen. They wanted, like, um, I listened to the Coleman Hughes mm -hmm. podcast. You just had Coleman on the show a couple yeah. days ago, whatever that was. The way he broke that down, how he simplified everything, and, like, he made so much sense out of it. But I just can't stop thinking about the repercussions of retaliation and escalation and getting every single other country involved. And uh, just it's just wild. When it gets me is late at night when I'm alone. Um, this was even before the Hamas invasion. Um, it was just thinking about Ukraine and Russia. I would be at home and, you know, just go through the, the news feed and read some stories. And then everyone in my house would be asleep and I'd be awake and I'd just go, fuck, is this the last days of normal civilization? Yeah. Because every movie where, you know, we, we ascend into the apocalypse or descend into the apocalypse, that's how it starts. It's like, you know, there's normal life, You're dropping your kids off at school. Bye, honey. I love you. And then hours later sirens bombs yeah. powers off no water no food people are struggling it's just like if if nuclear bombs start going off 
the world will be unrecognizable. There will be, we will be right back to barbaric Stone Age monsters in a matter of months, a matter of weeks, days even. There's no power, no food, no nothing. You know, there's the fucking border's been invaded by hundreds of thousands of illegals. How many of them are militants? How many of them have snuck in across the border and are, are, are forming terror cells? We don't know. I mean, that's the giant fear. That's and, that's for sure happening. For sure. There's no doubt. For sure. I, I, I read this thing that there's like six to 10 million people that came across the southern border in the last four to five years. That's as many people that live in New York City. And then like a crazy increase in people coming across the northern border. Yeah, it's nuts. Like, and I see it. I, yeah. I have been in California a lot the last few months. It's insane how many more people are just obviously all of a sudden just appearing, like getting dropped off on sh like street corners with buses, literally yeah. just in the middle of nowhere. They literally just get off the off the bus with a cell phone. But look at New York City when Cuomo was explaining how New York City yeah. literally uh, has a mandate to house its homeless. Yeah. And that was supposed to be the people that lived there that were down on their luck. And now it's people that have come in from other cities and or other countries rather illegally. And they're trying to make it so that those people can vote. And you see what they're doing with people That's from so Venezuela? Crazy. They're sending yeah. people back from Venezuela. Only from Venezuela. Yeah, because Venezuela opposes socialism. So they're not going to vote Democratic. Yeah. They don't want those people. That's crazy. <laughs> it's fucking wild. It's crazy how it's so odd. Like when you start thinking about it like that, it, that sounds like a conspiracy theory, but it's like totally political, all these moves. A hundred percent. Yeah. They're, they're literally importing Democratic voters. Yeah. They think by allowing the borders to be porous and by giving people aid and giving people housing that you're essentially guaranteeing that if you can rig it so that those people are allowed to vote, those people are going to vote Democratic. And if you could say that, oh, voter ID is racist, like, uh, What? Voter ID is that's racist. crazy that that's, that's they think that it's but and it's they not, don't think that they don't no, think that they know that that's not true. It's horseshit. Yeah, it's all political horseshit. But that's unfortunately the level of discourse that we have today, especially with all the virtue signaling on social media and all the people clamoring to prove that they're the most progressive and the most open minded and equitable. And we're in we're all down for inclusivity and like, <sighs> yeah, bro, there's going to be repercussions to all that for sure. I mean, you see the you see the videos in New York City and Chicago and these places where they're just dropping all these people off. They'll like video five hundred people in a row and it'll be like two women, and yeah. almost everyone's like between twenty and thirty years old. Yeah, it's all military age dudes. Yeah, like what do you think is going to happen five years from now? Right, with like ten million illegal immigrants here. 